Welcome back, Tactical Tuesday, with Johnny Tiger. The date is September 21st, 2022. Before we start today's video, I would kindly ask you all to give me a 10 second period of silence. So I've been MIA for the past two days. Some of you might have wondered, hey, what's going on? What happened with uh, Music Monday and Tactical Tuesday? Well, I'm still here, but it has been a very rough two days. Uh, Kitten and I have lost a dear friend who passed away unexpectedly Sunday night. Uh, he was a one of my best students, one of my best friends, one of the best people I've known in my life. So young, so strong, so healthy, not a single bad habit. And he just went to sleep and, well, he left us. Might have been an aneurysm or a stroke, but no matter what, it was unexpected because he was only 39 years old. So stepping into this training room today was extremely difficult. As soon as I stepped in here, I was overwhelmed by the memory of teaching him, training him, encouraging him passing my skills, techniques onto him, pushing him to work hard, to sweat, to improve. As soon as I stepped into this room, I went down onto my knee and basically stayed there for about a, a minute, just talking to him, hoping that he can hear me. It's been two days and most of the tears have been cried and I'm still trying to come to grip with this loss, this tremendous loss. But I didn't want this episode to be too emo. We'll wait for Music Monday for that. <clears throat> Today, since I still have to uh, catch up with uh, another video, Wisdom Wednesday, I'm going to go back to basic with you guys. And we're going to talk about one of the more commonly seen um, mistakes, one of the more commonly seen errors when people punch. If you have ever seen some people, or maybe you are one of the people that you have experienced this yourself, that, oh, this person, or I hit so hard when I hit the punching bag, I can bounce that punching bag off the ceiling when I hit it. And how come when I get in the fight? Or how come when that person get in the fight? It's suddenly not effective. The reason being, well, as Bruce Lee said, a punching bag does not punch back. A punching bag does not do anything other than take punches. It's what it's made to do. An opponent, on the other hand, is there to hurt you, to mess you up, right? So from a very fundamental level, they are different. So you can't think that just because you can hit a punching bag like a, 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 a train on steroids, and when you hit a real person, they're yeah, going to work the same way. Because the real person is going to try to get out of the way or block or hit you back. Okay? So what is this most common mistake that I see with the people first learning how to throw a proper punch and try to improve their punch? Is when people hear people say, when you punch, you got to put your weight into it, 
you got to uh, penetrate, you got to punch through, like the karate thing. My karate sensei used to say, when you punch, you throw a punch, and at the end of the punch, you go, you punch through it. I hate to, uh, I hate to uh, be disrespectful to my sensei, but that is the wrong way to explain a punch to somebody. You do not push into that punch, okay? If you have any kind of pushing involved in that punch, when you hit a real person, when you fight a real person, it's not going to work, okay? Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. People who don't know how to punch, people who don't know about the pushing, penetrating with their punch, they throw a punch like this. Okay? Now, that's rocking the target, but I think it's even translate on camera. It's just not very hard. It does, it's not hitting super hard. People who take the idea of pushing with your punch or penetrating with your punch, they'll make a lot more ruckus. It's going to sound a lot more impressive because when they punch, what's happening is they do this. Like that, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera. What's going on with these people when they punch is they punch and then they hold that pose and push into it. Now, obviously, I'm exaggerating this a little bit so you guys can see it. But most of the time, that's what's going on. Like this. They punch and they, it's almost like they're holding a pose for the camera, like I'm doing for you guys. And then they pull their hand back. You can't fight this way, okay? In, when you're fighting a real person, especially any kind of person with fighting experience or training, like uh, for me, for, me for example, okay? I'm not even like the best fighter in the world, nowhere near it. But if you hit me and then you hold that pose, you are going to get your arm broken, right? If you hit me and I feel that hit, oh, at first, I'm going to, yes, there's going to probably be two, two milliseconds, three milliseconds of shock. But next thing I'm going to immediately do, if, you, you, if your hand is still here, thinking that you're penetrating me with your fist, I am going to snap your elbow, huh? So, you can't punch that way when you hit a real person. When we say penetrate with your punch, we don't mean that you go chest pressing. We don't mean you go uh, bench pressing, like you are pressing with your punch, no. So instead of thinking about pushing at the end of that punch, imagine your target is uh, 10 inches further away than you, than, than, than Let's say uh, Bruce is here in front of me, but when I'm going to hit Bruce, I'm not thinking about I'm going to hit Bruce in the face. Okay? I'm thinking I'm going to hit something behind Bruce, but I do not hold my hand out in that pushing pose. I still punch and I retract and then I can punch again, right? So I mean, punch, 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 huh? I can throw these hard punches pretty quickly without having to push like that because I am channeling my force to a further away distant than my actual target. So punch through them, punch behind them, punch past them. Okay? But always remember, you still need to retract your hand so never punch oh, and hold it like that. Right? You still need to punch and hold, pull back immediately. Now, quick little reminder is when you punch, even though you are going all out, you are like that, you are punching past the person, you still want to keep in mind, don't hyperextend your elbow. Right? That punch still has to come from your hip, still has to come from your waist come from your shoulder your back it shouldn't be 
from the arm, so the arm should never shoot out like that. If your arm goes fully straight like this, you are going to mess up your elbow. Probably won't do much to the person, but hurt yourself in the end. So if you do some hard work, bad work, and you are always looking for ways to improve your punch, from now on, try to hit hard, hit past, hit through the target by imagining that you're hitting something far past the target, but you remember, retract your punch every time, immediately, as quick as you can. Do not hold a pose out like that. Uh, that is a big no-no. If you spar, you will know that doesn't work. I'll see you guys shortly for Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you for checking out today's Tactical Tuesday, guys, and uh, thank you for putting up with uh, this period where Kitten and I were grieving. Thank you.